All right, Babalos Rex here, and we're looking at the final hero talent from this fourth dozen. Uh, well, it wasn't the fourth dozen. It was it's the fourth preview, and it was a dungeon hero talents. This is the last one, so after this one, it's back to normal programming. But let's get into it. So we got Slayer Warrior. All right, so we've seen Colossus, we've seen Mountain Thane, and now we're looking at Slayer. So this is for Fury and Arms. So if you don't want to be a Lightning Thor Fury, we're gonna we're gonna pick Slayer here. Let's see what Slayer's got. A Slayer has one goal: the execution of their chosen target. And woe betide any who stand between the Slayer and their prey. Slayers are unrelenting in their pursuit and attacks, overwhelming their foes with a furious, unending onslaught of steel. When a Slayer has you in their sights, your days are numbered. And this can be arms too. All right, let's look at this. Slayers Dominance. Your attacks have a high chance to overwhelm your target's defenses and trigger a Slayer Strike. Dealing low damage and applying Marked for Execution. Increasing the damage they take from your next execute by 10% stacks up to 3 times. Alright, and I assume you're going to be able to get some extra executes in there anyways. But you'd want to wait till you get three. You'd want to wait till you get three. All right. All right, and this is automatic. I hope this looks good. I hope this is a, like a cool animation when you um, hit him with the Slayer's dominance. All right. Imminent Demise. Sudden Death's chance to reset the cooldown of Execute and make it usable on any target regardless of health is increased. There it is. Using Sudden Death accelerates your next Blade Storm, striking one additional time, max three. Blade Storm's total duration is unchanged. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Overwhelming Blades. Each strike of Blade Storm applies Overwhelm to all enemies affected. All right, so it's telling us right here, Fury is gonna get Blade Storm because I was like, this sounds good for arms, but wait, doesn't Fury not have Blade Storm? But here we go. Each strike of Blade Storm applies Overwhelm to all enemies affected, increasing damage taken by one percent for ten seconds. Fury will have access to Blade Storm via specialization talents in the War Within. Big. It's probably gonna be the Capstone. To replace freaking shockwave. All right. Choice node: relentless pursuit. Charge removes all movement impairing effects and grants you seventy percent movement speed for three seconds. All right, that's that's so boring. I feel like that's already a thing. Vicious agility: heroic leap reduces the cooldown of charge by five seconds, and charge reduces the cooldown of heroic leap by five seconds. Oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. So you want to leap and charge. Uh, and I get what this is going for because of the the lore it gave us. Slayers want to chase down their targets and kill them. I get it. Death Drive. You heal for 50% of damage dealt by Sun Death. Okay, that's good. That goes into this executing. So that gives you more healing. Passive healing, I like that, especially for Fury. And we got another choice note here, Slayer's Reflexes, uh, Slayer Strikes, have a chance to reset the cooldown of Bloodthirst and Overpower, or Constant Pressure, cooldown of Overpower reduced by 10%, cooldown of Bloodthirst reduced by 10%. Uh, if you're proccing more, this is better, if you're not, this is better. Tunnel vision, or another choice no tunnel vision. Your auto attack speed increases while you are in combat. Changing target resets this effect. Yo! Fury Warriors, I can't switch targets or my DPS will drop. Y'all have to kill the ads, not me. 
Yo, they all gonna be like that. Everyone, every Fury Warrior is gonna be like, yo, I got tunnel vision, I can't switch. I'm not going to kill ads. Y'all do it. I'm gonna, I gotta stick on the boss, guys. Guys, I can't go switch to the ad. Y'all do it, I can't. I'm tunnel vision. I'm tunnel vision spec. Thrill of the kill. Execute increased your auto attack speed for 10 seconds. All right. Oh, here's a good dude. Look at this talent. Slay. This has to have. Makes. Increases your character's cunt rating by 5%. Slay. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it should be queen. In increases. Increases your your queen percent by five percent. Slay queen. Mark for execution increases the critical strike chance. Cause everyone's using the other word. I forget it's not in America, even though I live in America. Okay. Well, you said it, so it's fine. Increases the mark for execution increases the critical strike chance and critical strike chance of your next execute on the target by 5%. Thank you for the bits. All right. All right, more crit. Slain queen. Get it. Frenetic flurry. Overpower arms, bloodthirst fury have a chance to cause you to unleash a brief blade storm. Striking all enemies around you once. You can use your pummel and storm bolt while blade storming. This is probably permanent, and this is great. This, look, this, hey, this is a good little passive to add into these boring ones. Something like, or well, this one doesn't have that many boring ones. Well, we're about to see a boring one, but stuff like this. So that's good. And you do a little blade storm. You're like, whoop. Slayer's Focus, Overpower Damage Increased by 10%. Bloodthirst Damage Increased by 10%. Size Increased by something. Or... Maybe this makes you look more bloody or something. I don't know. Bl blood Effects Increased by 10%. Like, the other... This Warrior spec has a talent like that. And then it just makes you bigger. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. I know I keep harping on it, but that's the stuff I want to see now. Because that's the stuff that could really spice these up. Alright, Unrelenting Onslaught. When you execute a target that you've marked for execution, reduce the cooldown of Blaze Storm by 5 seconds per stack of mark of ex for execution. Apply stacks of overwhelm equal to the number of stacks of mark for execution the target had. Oh my god! All that to say more Blade Storm, more execute. Okay. Alright. So if you want to play execute DPS spec where you're blade storming as fury, go slayer. If you want to be a thunder fury, go mountain thane. If you want to be a big chunky chunkman, go colossus as a warrior. Those are your choices. All right, fury's only got these two. Arms have got these two and prot has got these two. And there it is. Slayer was a thing. It was a thing. It's like mid. It's mid. Like, it, I'm not going to say it's bad. Because, uh, again, some of these, I want to see how these look. But it's nothing, like... More executes, more blade storming. The cool part is that we can now blade storm as fury. All right, and the effects of this are you're playing a Fury Warrior that's, like, that's why I keep judging these based on looks, and that's the main thing. So, I want to be Fury. Do I want to shoot lightning bolts out of my stomps, 
or now do I want to spin more and just execute more? You know? But this one actually makes you big. That's why I'm saying they need to add little effects to make it interesting. Anyways, that's Slayer Warrior. That's my opinions. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.